Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer of Hoyt Stream here, and here we are on the 24th of June 2024, and we're looking at the update to Weimark C8, or Monet Seeds, by Mapper's Paradise. Just had an update today, and it's changed like 1.0.0.1, Rainbow Trigger Icon has been moved to the proper location, which we'll have a look in sec, or not, I'll explain why. Also, the vehicle purchasing spawn point has been moved to the external location, and a couple things I didn't notice on my map tour, but other people have noticed. So, so the workshop small door trigger has been removed from the unused room, which is fair enough. And the house indoor mask has been fixed. And I think that was when you had snow coming down and it was snowing indoors in the farmhouse. Now one of the farmhouses on the main farm. But yeah, so I am on a pre-save game this was saved was well, this game save was created before the update and yeah asked by the title or and such or the thumbnail you will need a new game save for console like these or at the very bare minimum i'm on playstation 4 pro so maybe i've called it xbox playstation 5 i don't know but i say in general for console if it's having this on the ps4 pro Chances are, if you're on Xbox One, Series X and S, you will need a new game save because, yeah, the trigger is here. You can sort of see it peeping through the door in that. And also, I've noticed the spawn location for the pallets. It's, yeah, it looks like it all could be doing with moving out a, I'll say a couple of meters now. Like, you know, move from here, this edge. I'll say move it to about here where the icon is here. So, like, align with this here. Yep, yeah, seemed to trigger that. That could be that you moved a few inches in that. Yeah, I almost went past it because I couldn't see it, but... At least one good thing is the tipper location, so... That is over here. And yeah, you can purchase the sand. And yeah, have a look. So yeah, we don't have the grain mill at all. I've purchased, and yeah, still exactly the same. I've go over. Nothing to open the door in that. So yeah, I'm going to inform Map of Paradise about this, but... Anyway, so let's load up a new game save and go from there. So here we are on a brand new game save, and yeah, I did purchase the land, even though you don't need to purchase the land. So yeah, purchase a grain mill for like six grand, so... Technically we can have enough for it, but what I'm going to do is... Do my usual how I set up my map tours and that, so for those who are interested, I use greenhouse and that, and then I use the slow extension of the automatic water for animals and greenhouses. Then what I do from there is go to the cell, get an easy 200 mil, bam, there we go. So yeah, we can have a look at the passive production now, so compare it to base game. Actually, you know what? Before I go over all this, give me a few seconds in your time, and I'll have this all set up because, yep, yeah, now the trigger is spawned out here. The spawn for the pallets are better now. And, yeah, for terms of your input, yeah, that was still exactly the same that. It was more for the trigger that and the output that, so that's why I'm doing this video now. But now, let's go over the grain mill. So, alright, one year later, and yeah, be a little bit busy, and so yeah, we got some pallets here, we got three, six, seven pallets spawn, and yeah, you can tell, Durham Flower, and your normal Premier Flower, so, we go into our production tab just over here. In terms of capacity, you're looking at a million litres for your wheat, barley, oats, sorghum, and Durham wheat. In terms of your outputs is 100,000 litres for your flower and germ flower. Of course, for the germ flower, that can be transferred over to the bakery to get pasta. In terms of capacity, fee kits can be around about 300 ish thousand litres, give or take. Did put a little bit of milk in, 70,000 litres, so I'm not re looking at the bakery today. But yeah, so for your pasta and that, you're looking at again about. 70-ish thousand years, give or take. By the looks of that, so yeah. Nice looking little pass the pallet over here. And yeah, just ignore the mess now. I've left over here now with myself. 
But yeah, let's go and head down to the bakery. And also, we're going to be looking at the new spawn points. Because, yeah, they've been changed. And they are rather interesting. But, first of all, we need to go over here and, yeah, have a look compared to the two. So, we've got our pasta. Nice, freshly looked pasta there. Sure, the Italians would love that. And compared to our pallet bread. And, yeah, none of these pallets are liftable in that, as they are on their own in that. Just again, a little thing to note. And yeah, I've gone over this in the map tour that, but just to refresh in that, so you can sell your durum flour and all that, so durum meat on its own can be sold at the feed and grain itself. Also, take this out of the grain mill, but you can't really sell the grain mill, seed production. And then you've got your swift current. And then head down to your durum flour and that, sell at the bakery or your farmer's market. Pasta sells at the farmer's market, but I'm pretty sure if you put down the sell everything container by Schultz Modding, and I think if you put down the mobile utility sell point, I think that's also by Schultz. And yeah, exactly the same, no premium price or anything. But yeah, it looks like the best on sell is, of course, as usual, is. Around about January and February time. But yeah, so that is the drum wheat and flour and pasta and that. But now, I think, just to wrap things up here and that, I want to show you the spawn points and that. Actually, no, no, no. Before I go over that, let's go through the cycles per month and that. So, yeah, almost went over that. I do apologise and that. So, yeah, looking at your drum flour and that. So, 150 in, 150 out, 120 cycles per month. That means you'll get 18,960 litres of durum flour from just 18,000 litres of durum a month, or durum meat, sorry. And in total in a year, that means it can produce a staggering 216,000 litres. So, 260,000 litres, and that's peak price in that. You're looking at 431 ish grand that. And again, that's not depending on the peak price and that. And again, great demands and all that. Because, yeah, the peak price says on 2100. That is the average across your four sell points. So, you may get 2200, 2300 maybe in that. But, yeah, if you're going to go to your pasta and that, which I personally recommend that. Because, yeah, pasta. It's slightly worth more than that because if we go to our productions down here, it is a 1 to 3 simplified ratio from wheat to flour. 720 cycles per month. That means you can get a mere 4,320 litres a month. That is to pass the net. And do the math 4,320. Doing that over a course of a year is 51,840 litres. So, just a reminder, it's a 1 to 3 ratio. And if you look at the 2, so it's about, it's marginal what's worth more than that. So, if you want to do the extra process of making it to pass on that, you're not going to be losing money in that. Again, that does depend on when you sell that, because you're looking at the lowest prices and that, so... For example, you're during reading that. In August and that, when you're harvesting it, it's worth absolutely pig squad and that. In a way, we're on easy economy as well. 1,400 compared to pasta. That is well over three times as much, almost four times as much. So again, comes here and there, depends on when you want to do in that. But yeah, so that is that out of the way. So yeah, overall, I personally feel to me now, I would say, yeah, heck it. Do the pasta production again, because again, something different that. And something that I'm hoping tomorrow with what's been teased at the moment with the whole blue and green that from Giants and that. Yes, I know there were reported leaks and that, but... When it comes to things like that, you got to take it with a pinch of salt in that. When it comes to the eating that by 
so you say people in that who knows what's say the next game's gonna come out tomorrow in that or be announced tomorrow or whatever it could be but I guess probably yes by the looks of it in that but anyways let's look at our small points I see on the PDA yeah they do look a bit different so here we are at the main farm Nat, and we're gonna be looking at your reset point for your equipment so we head over here this is your new reset point so plenty of space for new equipment and that is about no that is sorry 18 pieces of equipment a mixture of the John Deere cotton harvesters and X9 combines now if we head to the store now looking at the store and that this is going to be your no spawn point for your equipment so got a various again various pieces of equipment in that and I did initially set this up with have a look at my notes 14 John Deere cotton harvesters and 10 excellent combines so yeah the whole thing of having issues with spawning big and large <laughs> items and that yeah that is going to be slightly <laughs> less of a problem now but yeah so overall cracking update to my mark ca or aka monet sees farms and i've got too many pieces of equipment here but yeah whether or not i made you a play for on this or i even a live stream now since i've got better internet now in today's store so yeah maybe not long after this comes on that so i may play on this map for a little bit you know if a farm and chill way that but anyways as always hope you found this helpful and informative some shape or form if so smash the button feel free to comment down below if you want to share some please be my guest if you're not subscribed on yet the please consider but for as you to do hope you're gonna stay but for now it's me farmer every stream and i'll see you all very soon